Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. The Saviour Yeshua gave us these three promises in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. My name is Lilika, and I'm from Hertfordshire, and I'd like to tell you a story today that also comes in three parts. This story is called The Prodigal Son, and it can be found in Luke chapter 15. There was a young man who had a rich dad, and he went to his father one day and asked for his inheritance. Once he got the money, he went off and he had a wild time. He had fun. Until he'd spent all his money. And then a famine struck the land and he was starving. The only job he could get was feeding pigs. And he had time to reflect on his life and where he'd ended up. And he didn't feel worthy of being given a second chance, but all he could think of was going home, back to his father, and hoping that his father could find him a job as a servant or at least give him something to eat. So he sets off on his journey home, and his father sees him coming, and he runs towards him, immediately forgives him, and throws a feast to celebrate his return. I really, really love that story. I think there's so much in that story that is relatable to us today. Part one, ask. The young man goes to his father and asks for his inheritance. And you know, that, to us, that can seem a bit unwise to give a young man a huge pot of money and then send him off into the world to do whatever it is he wants. Um, and if you don't believe me that that can be an unwise decision, go and visit a university town during Freshers' Week and see the state that things get into. Now, I truly believe that that father loved his son. So why did he let him go? You know, that, that tells me a lot about the relationship that we have with Yahweh. Yahweh loves us as a father, but he's not going to guilt trip us into staying in relationship with him. He's not going to bargain with us or plead with us. He gives us the freedom to choose whether we stay or whether we go. And a relationship with Yahweh is not the same as a relationship with a church or with a youth group. Part two of the story, seek. The young man was seeking a new life and it took being starving and destitute for him to reflect and realize that what he'd been seeking was found at home all along. I grew up in the church and I've seen so many of my friends and my parents' friends being on fire for Yahweh, having such a great relationship with him. And then one day that fire dies and before you know it, those people aren't around anymore. Now maybe you can relate to that. Maybe you grew up in Sunday school, your parents or grandparents used to take you along and then you grew up and, and moved on with your life. And I've definitely felt that struggle myself. Is it worth it staying in relationship with Yahweh or should I be going out and experiencing new things? I mean, am I missing out because I'm choosing this lifestyle? Is it really worth it? And you know, I have to come back to, yes, this is worth it because for me, being in a relationship with Yahweh feels like being home. And I really feel the father yearning for his children to come back. In times of crisis, like with coronavirus, people often look to God, but don't let it take a tragedy or you hitting rock bottom before you turn to him. Seek him now and you will find him. The young man felt unworthy of being given a second chance. And how many of us can relate to feeling unworthy or inadequate? And speaking for myself, when I feel unworthy, I, I close off my heart and I, I feel like I'm, I build up a wall around my heart to protect myself. But here's why that doesn't work. When I was a child, I invited the Saviour Yeshua to come and live in my heart. He doesn't like being shut behind a wall. My favourite Bible verse is Luke 15, 20. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. 
And the first time I read that Bible verse, I forgot that this story was about a son with his own problems and his own issues. And I just saw me and my relationship with the father. The fact that even though I was a long way off, 2,000 odd years off, the father saw me. And he knew the pain I would go through, the pain I put myself through. He knew every tear I'd shed, every sleepless night. And he was filled with compassion for me. And I so identify with that promise of forgiveness. And every time I have knocked at the Father's door, he has answered, he has listened, and he's there waiting for me with open arms. And with COVID-19 doing the damage it's doing, sometimes all I feel like I need is a hug from my Heavenly Father. I used to think that the word prodigal meant someone that comes back but it actually means someone that uses resources recklessly, so someone that is wasteful. I want you to think about your life right now. What is prodigal in your life? What are you wasting? Do you feel like there is a distance between you and Yahweh? Do you feel more distant than you would like? Then ask, and this is between you and Yahweh. Ask for forgiveness for your past, forgiveness for your present. Ask for a father's love and it will be given. Seek, seek with all of your heart a relationship or a closer relationship with Yahweh. Seek to be satisfied and to be comforted. Seek and you will find. And perhaps most importantly, knock. Take this opportunity. Don't waste any more time. Knock and open that door to a promise of a better future, an eternal future. Revelations 3.8 says, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. Yahweh knows your past. He sees you in the present as you are. He has amazing plans for your future. Why? Because he loves you. So if this is your first time accepting the Father's love, first time setting out on that journey to the Father who's waiting for you with open arms, then welcome home. And if this is your second time, or third time, or seventh hundredth time, turning back to Yahweh, coming back to him, welcome home. The door is open, walk through. Take this chance to build a closer relationship with Yahweh. It's time to come home.